Hello and welcome to day 12 of 100 Days of Tonalism. This is your resident landscape painter, M. Francis McCarthy, and I thank you for joining me today. The piece that we are going uh, to be talking about that I did a study of is by George Frederick Munn, and the title is Near Barbizon. Um, this is a painting that I've seen around for a long time. As a matter of fact, I think I got this off of one of those um, Chinese copy sites, I guess, for lack of a better word. It caught my eye a long, long time ago, and I've always thought this was a remarkable painting. Unfortunately, I'm having some issues getting uh, biographical information about George Frederick Munn. Um, I believe I was reading the other day that he was English. Um, However, uh, this painting is very solidly Barbizon school. It's not actually tonalism, although um, it evidences a strong tonal quality that many Barbizon works have. And uh, it really could be tonalism, you know. Um, the distinctions get a little blurry at times. Um, I did find a, uh, the text of a book about him online, and uh, apparently there was a book that was published around 1907. And uh, uh, it looks like this book was written by a friend of his. It says, on February 10th, 1907, George Munn, painter, passed over to the majority, and I, his fellow student and lifelong friend, wished to set down, as best as I may, a slight tribute to his personality and genius. He was a rare spirit, a steadfast one, and always unfalteringly true to the highest standards of, of his art. No petty trafficking or time serving in his work ever dimmed his soul. He had the rare courage to paint to please himself first, and the public and the buyer, well, they did not count. Okay, that means that uh, good old George was a heck of a guy and uh, has a lot in common with me. I, I too paint what I like, and the market, you know, is the market. I feel very sorry for artists that are constantly chasing the market. I feel like they really don't have a leg to stand on. And uh, I often say they'd be, they'd be better served um, going into another line of work that uh, would pay them better, like real estate or being a lawyer or a banker or any kind of businessman, really, uh, is a much more uh, uh, better paying occupation than, uh, than painter or artist. Um, I chalk a lot of this sentiment down to the fact that um, we live in a highly consumerist culture and consumerism is actually pretty much like a religion in this uh, modern world. Everybody uh, feels that everything uh, needs to have a price tag on it and um, uh, will often you know, measure the worth of their work uh, in those same dollars and cents. Really. It's not about money, folks. You know, I think most true artists definitely know that. Um, you know, a lot of my favorite painters had very little success until the end of their lives. People like Camille Corot, people like uh, Constable. It just goes on and on. George and Ness, all these guys, they really didn't have success until later in life, uh, financially. Um, it was a struggle, but they all felt that they had to paint and do what was inside of them, and that's the gift that the universe gives us as an artist. Um, I can see I'm getting close to the end. This was one that I painted pretty quick. Uh, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and stay out of trouble.